Nuke the moon. So the new interim administrator of NASA has directed the agency to start working on contracts to design, test, and build a 100 kilowatt reactor for use on the moon. Unsurprisingly, this comes a few months after China announced that they will land a fission reactor on the moon in 2036. Now, there's a lot of ways to look at this this notion. Um, One is if we're going to build a base on the moon, which we are still saying we plan to do, you need power. And especially if you're going to be in the the dark polar regions, you're going to need nuclear power because solar panels aren't particularly effective down there. Um, You can also look at it as a way that we or the Chinese, depending on who does it first, could establish an exclusion zone in a place where you can't claim property, such as the moon, because of the Outer Space Treaty. But you can claim an exclusion zone by saying, oh, we have a fission reactor, it's not shielded, it's not safe, so stay 100 miles over that way, which means you effectively are claiming the resources in that spot.